لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. Know for sure that fasting has many hikam, يعني many purposes, objectives, wisdoms. For which they was legislated, and these wisdoms for which fasting has been legislated necessitate that fasting be an obligatory duty of Islam and a rukn from the arkan of Islam, the pillars of Islam. The first of the eight, the Sheikh says, from the hikam of siyam, that from the wisdoms of fasting, is that fasting. Is an ibadah, an act of worship for Allah subhanahu wa taala. That the worshipper, through it, the worshipper gets near to their Lord by giving up and abandoning that which they love and that which they desire of food and drink and marital relations with their spouse. It becomes clear the truthfulness of their iman and the perfection of their worship of Allah subhanahu wa taala and the strength of their love of Allah. And the hope for that which he has with him, yani of reward in the next life. So when the believer knows that the pleasure of Allah in fasting is by abandoning their desires, which by nature they are in love with. Allah created the human being with the nature to love to eat and to drink and to have relations with their spouse. Allah created the human being by nature like this. When it is known by the believer that the pleasure of Allah in fasting is in abandoning the shahwat, yani the desires that you have been created with the nature to love, it is something that is pleasant, and it is a comfort to the soul to abandon these things for the pleasure of Allah. And the second, he says that from the wisdoms of fasting, the purpose or objective or benefits of fasting. Is that it is a cause or a reason or a means to achieve a taqwa. Yani the fasting person is commanded to do the acts of obedience to Allah and to avoid to stay far removed from acts of disobedience to Allah. So if the fasting person is enveloped, yani is covered with his consciousness of fasting. Then every time that person thinks about committing a sin, they will remember that they are fasting, and they will refrain from it. So you are constantly thinking. You are aware that you are not eating and drinking. So you are conscious that you are fasting for the sake of Allah, that you are abstaining from that which is lawful. So if a thought came to your mind to do that which is unlawful, you will be reminded that why am I abstaining from the lawful? Except. In order to strengthen me and enable me to abstain more so from that which is unlawful, otherwise there is no real benefit from the fast unless the person is, unless it makes the person conscious of Allah to the extent that they will strive harder to do the acts of obedience and to avoid acts of disobedience. And this is the achievement of a taqwa. And the third one, the Sheikh says that from the wisdoms of fasting is that the heart is. Free from everything else, yani is occupied only with the fikr, yani reflection upon the greatness of Allah and the creation of Allah, and the dhikr, the remembrance of Allah, the praise and glorification of Allah. So these are two of the great characteristics of the believing people, and this is the condition of the heart of the fasting person. Because the person who is engaged in their desires, in their shahwat, this necessitates that the person becomes unmindful, that they are distracted with those things, and they become unmindful of the greater things, the remembrance of Allah and the greatness of Allah's favors and His bounties and His creation. And sometimes even <coughs> the engaging in the shahwat, the, the worldly desires, also sometimes cause the hardening of the heart. And the blindness of the person from the acceptance of the truth. And Abu Sulaiman al-Darani, rahimahullah, he said that the nafs 
when it is hungry and when it is thirsty, the human being, when they are in a state of hunger and thirst, the heart is purified and it is softened. And when they are full, when they have eaten their fill, then the heart becomes blinded. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala aladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattakoon.